case study tunneling OPC data to a SQL server. So this customer is a U.S.-based power generation company. Uh, they needed to improve their method of collecting and archiving data that was coming from a number of regional power plants. In this case, they had 73 power plants, and their goal was to move that data from the OPC server over to these SQL database servers. At the time, they were extracting data from their SCADA system and sending it to these two SQL server databases. But uh, they needed something that was simpler, faster, and more direct. Uh, the system design required that, OPC, that the OPC server and two database servers be running on separate machines. They had dealt with DECOM before, and for those of you who have, in this case, they didn't want to. Uh, and you may know that pain. So they wanted to avoid DECOM as much as possible. They'd heard of tunneling and knew it was the technology they wanted to use, uh, but they started off with some other tunneling solutions that when they tested it, consumed too much memory and monopolized their CPU of their dual core processors. So then they decided to try the data hub. They installed the data hub on the OPC server machine and they configured it to read from the OPC server. Next, they install one data hub on each of the database servers and they use the tunneling function to transfer data securely across the network without any DCOM. Now, with the database in the database server, the last step was to configure the ODBC data logging. Now, every time a value changed at the remote power plants, a new row of data was written to the database within milliseconds. The customer also said that in contrast to the other tunneling software, the data hub used almost no system resources and was able to handle 4.5 million data changes with no decrease in performance. In this application, the customer used the OPC DA, tunneling, and data logging, and the data hub solved the problem of moving data across the network into a database and was faster and a more direct method than they were previously using. For videos, documentation, and a free demo, visit softwaretoolbox.com slash datahub.